which means it's Friday, and every Friday we make some awesome circuits. So I hope you guys have your circuit stuff with you. Again, if you don't have the circuit stuff and you're not able to get it on eBay, you can just email us with your address and we will get some stuff out to you because our goal is to make this fun and easy for you guys to have a great time with science. And today we are making a lighthouse because if our pirate ships crashed in the dark, like we need to know. Okay, we can't put a lighthouse on the Kraken, but we could put a lighthouse on some of these like really scary shark islands that Rachel had to make sure that we navigate around them. And the lighthouses are gonna be really fun with like some paper circuits. So before we get to our shout outs, I just wanna go over what you guys are gonna need to collect to make these, and it's pretty easy. You need something that's gonna be your lighthouse top. So it could be, we have these like little tiny things here. It could be an applesauce cup. Isabella has like a little hairspray top. Georgia has a tiny clear little cup. So there's all sorts of options you can use for that. So you need something that you can use as your lighthouse. You need some sort of thin cardboard or cardstock paper. So I'm just using a mac and cheese box for this and that will be enough to do it. Or you could also use like some toilet paper rolls, but you'll have just like a shorter little lighthouse. But it'll be still awesome. Um, and then you can, you need copper tape, masking tape, a battery, a CR2032 battery, and an LED. And of course we do want to make sure that our battery works with our LED. And last but not least, you'll need a pen or a pencil and some scissors. And that should be all we need to learn about our lighthouses. For those of you who are new, I just want to say thank you so much for joining us. I'm excited that you're joining us. Don't forget, you can join us for a day of the week. You can join us for a few days. You can join us for the whole week. You can join us for whatever works for your schedule because we're going to make it easy for you guys to do some science at home. And we're going to be here all the way into June since Washington schools got canceled. Um, make sure that you subscribe to our page, give us a thumbs up, share our word on social media, because every extra family we get is just so much, it's amazing to be able to reach everywhere. I mean, we're even in France now. That is our My crew precious for today. Awesome! Well, let's get making. So, lighthouses have been around for a really long time. They've been around since like before we started counting years the way we count years now. So they were around in like 200 BC and we live in 2020 AD. So they've been around for over 2000 years and they're really important. Egypt built the first one to make sure people didn't run into their port because if you have all of these great spices and beautiful beads coming in, you don't want them at the bottom of the bay. You want them like to trade with because you just paid all this money to get all these yummy things. So they started putting lighthouses to help ship captains know. And originally they just started burning wood up there and then they got a little bit better and they started burning some oil up there. Um, now we actually have something better. A French scientist, a French physicist actually really upped our game in the 1800s, Augustin Fresnel. And he made a lens that doesn't actually look like a lens. So if you think of lenses like the glasses that you guys or your mom and dads might wear, they're really thick and they kind of like puff out in one part. And the Fresnel lens is actually really, really thin. So this is like a little Fresnel lens, but you can see on my face that it sort of makes things wobbly, I'm sure. It makes things big and small. And the Fresnel lens, what it did was it actually condensed the light, which is really cool. And we'll do like a little thing as we're building. I'll show you guys how it can make some things brighter. So to get started with our awesome little thing, if you have a recycled thing, we're going to want to open it up. And I'm just going to cut mine down an edge so that I can like really have it nice and flat. Have a nice flat piece of cardboard. And if you have like a piece of cardstock paper, you can skip this part. All right. So I've got this, this is gonna, I'm gonna use this as the outside. I'm gonna make sure that when I do my stuff, this will be the inside. So the first thing we'll want to do is you want to take whatever you're making your lighthouse out of and you're gonna trace around it. So we're gonna take our pencil and pen, whatever it is, we're gonna trace around that to make a nice little platform. Can I, yeah. Can I use that pen to do it? Oh, you're gonna use this piece too? Here, use your white paper. When? 
Where? When what? Where? Anywhere. I would do it in the corner. Mama, so I put mine in the corner so that later I can sort of chop this part this off and thing. use the rest as this my is, White House. This is cardboard. Oh, yeah. Georgia already is using a piece. So Georgia's is going to be okay. Although I would actually still maybe do it so that you have a platform for that to fit on. Unless you're happy with it like that. Okay. But we need a little circle because that's where we're going to start our circus at. So I'm going to cut a little circle out here. And again, you want to trace around whatever you decided would be your lighthouse top. So you might have a totally different size circle than I do. Isabella is, I think, going to have a teeny tiny circle. Which is good. Which is good for her. That's totally fine. So here's my circle. And then you're going to want to cut off, like, whatever excess you have. You could cut it this way or that way. Shouldn't really matter. I'm going to cut it this way for right now. And we can save this for extra decorations later. So now I sort of have this guy. And as, yep, you're going to cut it out, Georgia. And as you guys are doing this, I'm also going to cut off the tabs on mine. Just like this. So that I have a nice sort of rectangle of cardstock or thin cardboard, whatever you're working with. It's all totally fine. You could even do this with regular paper. It'll just be a little flimsier. So we're cutting all off right, so now you're going to cut off. Yeah, you want to get yourself into a nice rectangle so you have a rectangle and a circle. So those are the two pieces that we want right now. Just what? A rectangle and a circle, yeah. We had Kaya show up. Hi, Kaya! And the good showed up. Yay! Welcome! You're not far behind. We just traced whatever clear piece we have on our lighthouse. We traced it and cut out a circle so that my I have like a little Kaya. seat for this. And then I made this into a cardboard rectangle. That's all we've done so far. I'm also so we're Abel's just here. cutting. Ooh, hello, Abel. And, all right, so then what we're going to do, you're all cut out? Yeah, Georgia's just going to, since she has a toilet paper tube, she can just paste that guy on really easily. But we're going to make our toilet paper tube. So what you do is you kind of, I would just scrunch it a little bit, and you want the top to be the same size like this. And you could actually, if you want, make it sort of somewhat cone-like by having the top come down and there's like, if you make this at a diagonal angle, then you could have the bottom be wider than the top if you wanted. If you don't want to, no big deal. And we're going to take that in place. So I think I'm probably just going to take mine as like a nice cylindrical tube. So I'm going to find where I'm at and I'm going to just tape this in place with some masking you, tape. You just have to do that, then we're done. Yep, so if you have a cardboard tube, you're going to do just what Georgia did. You're just going to tape it straight to the top. It'll be nice and easy. And if you're doing what Isabella and I are doing, you're going to just sort of wind it up, and then you're going to tape it into place. Yeah, it could even be like a little pocket thing, too. Ooh, Georgia's got plans. I love it when people have plans. I'm like, can I make another circle? So uh, if you'd like to make another circle, you can while you're waiting on this. Like the top yeah, so that's why Isabel's is tricky because hers is so thin. We're going to put a piece of masking tape straight on down. I guess I have mine actually with a little bit of a bottom base. But this piece is going to fit right up here. And in fact, we're going to do just what Georgia did. We're going to tape that top piece down. So I as you guys... I made it so it doesn't show. Yeah. Much. So as you guys are working on this, I will give you some cool facts about lighthouses. Things that you maybe know and maybe don't know. So we talked about how the first one was in Egypt. And everybody used things like burning some oil or burning um, wood until the 1800s when okay. that French physicist Fresnel came along. Ooh, Georgia has a question. Tell me, Georgia. So, did the fourth person who made the lighthouse die already? Oh, yes. So the Egyptians, 2,000 years ago, made the first lighthouse. So I don't know anybody 2,000 years old, do you? No. I'd be really old. You would have seen a lot in your lifetime. I, I know trees. trees that would are, be cool, though. Trees are 2,000 years old. There's some trees. There are some trees that might have been alive and, during that time, but no and, humans. And, and in in the rescue no lot, if in a show, it's there's a dragon. Mm -hmm. It's it's um 
a forever horn. Mmm, and they live forever? Yeah. Love it. So maybe if you had the forever horn, that would be really cool. But no, we don't have that option here. So yeah, the first people who invented lighthouses are no longer with us. In fact, even the famous French physicist who gave us the Fresnel lens is also no longer with us. That was 200 years ago. So he's not around either. Because most people, I mean, I think somebody's 114. No, so, 117 is 117, years. apparently. So, but not 200 years old. Um, but nothing really changed in how we lit lighthouses until Fresnel came along. So some people had, like, started to, say, put mirrors on the backside to make more light for ships. But it wasn't actually a huge difference until Fresnel came along and made these really awesome flat lenses. And if... You might be able to hear this. If I scratch it, you can hear all of these little ridges that are there. And there's basically what Fresnel did is he put a whole bunch of prisms and it lets it focus the light even though it's flat, which is really, really helpful. And so that focused light would let you get 20 miles away. So we went from not seeing very far, where like the ships couldn't see the lighthouse from very far, to the ships could see this lighthouse in France from 20 miles away, which is really impressive. All right, so since Isabella has finished making her tube, we will continue. So what you're going to do is you're going to measure a piece of copper tape, and it's going to go sort of from the middle piece of your tube, and it's going to go down to the bottom of one side. All right, and again, if this is your first time with copper tape, what we never want to do, we don't want to peel it off like that because the stickiness is so much trouble. It's super hard when it's really curly to get it to where it needs to go. Mm -hmm. So what we're gonna do is instead of peeling it all off, that white backing, we're gonna peel just a little bit and we'll start sticking it down as we peeled off more. So you gotta get your fingernail underneath that copper tape. And it can be a little tricky. But once you get it, you can start to separate the two like this. And then we will put a piece down. And you're gonna start sort of in the middle and then we will slowly peel away that white and stick it down the sides of our lighthouse. I'm gonna stick it all the way down. Jack Sloan just showed up. Hi, Jack! He's, Welcome! He's not joining us in Zoom, though. Oh, that's a bummer. Jack has some great projects. And I will say, if we do go too fast for you on this, you can always pause YouTube, even though it's live. So you can pause it and catch up and then hit go. All right, so Georgia, you're gonna put it all the way straight on down to the bottom. Good job. And if you have a hot glue gun, you can also use hot glue instead of tape. It'll make it sort of a nicer finished project, Product, but it won't matter too much. Georgia, I think we're gonna want, you're gonna wanna use scissors to cut that, and I think we're gonna wanna put a piece of tape on this side to hold it down. No, no, like this no? okay. So when it's we do the other the side, okay, when we do this side, you're going to go down here, okay? All the way to the bottom. That sounds. All the way to the bottom. So from sort of the middle all the way down to the bottom because we're going to put our battery there. Yeah, why don't you put yours, since you want it to be on a hinge, put it right next to it real close, but make sure they don't touch. Why don't touch? Because if they touch, our LED won't light up and it will be sad. Yeah, and let's put it right on top of the masking tape for yours, just because we want it to be a little stronger. Just like that. All right, go for it. You're gonna go all the way down. What if I accidentally make it touch for like a minute? Then we'll fix it. Like, all right. Like for a second. So, once you've got one side on, we're gonna do the other side. Now, the trick here is we need to make sure that these two wires don't touch each other even at the top, but we do want them kind of close at the top because that's where we're gonna put the LED. So you could put it off sort of off at a quarter, you could put it off at a half, doesn't matter where because we're gonna make a switch that will be really easy and it will reach all the way around for you. Yeah. All right, so you're gonna peel your second piece of tape and maybe I'll just put mine off at a quarter. And so you see on this top piece, I don't have these two pieces of tape touching. There's a Nice little gap between them, and that's really important. If I have them touching, the electrons will get super tired of going down that slide of the LED and choose not to, and they will just go straight from one to the other, and we won't light up our LED. 
All right, so we're gonna go from this top piece all the way down the side again. And remember, we're gonna peel and stick as we go. And any excess, you can either use scissors to cut or you can sort of pinch it and tear it off. Georgie, you got a question? Um, why does it show in that lighthouse right there? See inside of it? No, this. Is it orange? Yes, so I covered this one. George is asking why we see it. I covered this one with masking tape, and you can still see it through the masking tape. It's just our wiring. I think it adds a little cool effect to it. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we are going to test our LEDs. And if this is your first time with us, there's only one way to light up your LED. So if you put both legs on the top of your battery where you see the letters, nothing happens. If you put both legs on the bottom of the battery, nothing happens. And if we put, if we have the LED have one leg on the top and one leg on the bottom, so we sort of smush the battery between them, sometimes nothing happens. And that's if the short leg is on the top. So we have sort of a short leg of an LED and a long leg. So you want to put the long leg of that LED on the top of the battery so you can see the letters and the short leg on the back. And we just want to test to make sure it works. And we could even see how the Fresnel lens that that French physicist invented helps make the light bigger. So it's probably getting bigger on your guys' screen right now. It's hard for me to see. I've been saying going up and down like that, baby. It's hard for me to see because I'm on the back side of it. I'm not looking through it. I'm going this way. We're going that way. So you can see how the light gets bigger, which is what led that Fresnel lens to actually be adopted by all of the lighthouses around. So hopefully you guys have had a chance to see that. We'll see. I can actually see it going on our kitchen wall when I'm in some spots, which is kind of cool. Like that seems like it's really bright for you guys compared to this. So we were doing everything with like maybe just a small light trying to do some mirrors and then we got something like, let's see, where is it at on the wall? We're going down. We gotta find it again. Yes, I had the thumbs up, but I not can't anymore. See it. But you can, yeah, we can't see it from this side. You can only see it from the other side. So once we've tested our LED, awesome, we are gonna put our battery in now just because we know the battery works and the LED works. So to put the battery in, you're gonna just tape it down around the sides so that you can see the letters. Choose one of them. Um, that you doesn't matter which line it's gonna be. Just choose either one, and you'll take a little piece of masking tape, and you don't want to tape all the way over the top of the battery, because if I do that, if I were to tape over the top of this battery, and then try to light up my LED the long leg actually touches the masking tape so it doesn't touch the battery top and you'll notice it doesn't light up whereas if i put it just on a little bit like this i can have that long leg up there just like that so if i don't have the long leg touching the top nothing works it needs to hit that metal of the battery so when we tape our battery in we just want to tape it so that there's still a piece of the battery metal that we can still use. So like, you're gonna tape it at the bottom and you're just gonna tape it in just like this. Which way do I tape it in? You're gonna tape it so you can see the letters. Great question, Georgia. I'm gonna tape it so we can see the letters. I like to tape it on both sides of the battery. Look, look at that Just like that. And it needs to be over the top of one of these long pieces mm -hmm. of copper tape. So the copper should go can all go the way to the bottom and the battery's gonna go on top of one of the pieces of copper tape. Ooh, so Georgia, we need the battery on top of one of the pieces of copper tape, and we need it to touch the copper tape. It so is. Georgia has like a little roll piece of tape here. We want it to come all the way over here like this, and then we're gonna tape it down. Ooh, that's a cool way that you taped that. We'll leave that tape in, and we're gonna tape this down like that on the sides. Ooh, I think I might have ruined that part. You're gonna have to re-engineer that. So there you go. So you're going to put that guy out right like that. All right. And you'll notice that we still have some metal showing. That's going to be really, really important. So next we're going to add in our switch. And to add in the switch, you need a piece of copper tape that's long enough to go from the sort of boring, nothing happening on it line of copper tape over to the battery. All right. So if you had your piece of this line of copper tape way over here, 
you would use a longer piece of copper tape and it would stretch from the battery all the way over to that other piece. So we gotta make sure we hit both of these. You see that, Georgia? I'm gonna take a piece of copper tape and we're gonna hit both of them. Oh, ooh, we're gonna put our LED on the top, Georgia. Not on the bottom. All right, so you're gonna take a little piece of copper tape and we're gonna tape it here maybe, I think. And it's gonna come down so it can touch that battery. All right, so I'm gonna take this piece of copper tape. This one will work great for you. And I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna flip it over so it's copper to copper and copper to battery. And I'm gonna use a little piece of masking tape to tape it in on this side right like here. Like this? Just like that. Like this one? Oh, mine works. Ooh, Isabella's is working. Oh, no, we wanna flip it over. So just like this, Georgia. I'm gonna flip it over like that. So you're gonna take a little piece of tape and put it right there. Oh, so we need some masking tape so that, that it's copper to copper so that the little the electrons oil, can go the through the copper because they can't oil. travel in the paper. We have a question. How many yeah. copper pieces are best? How many copper pieces? They, um, they may have broken their copper. Weapons. Oh, yeah. So if you broke your copper tape kind of coming down, you're going to want to re-add that line in, to be honest. That's the easiest way because paper circuits can be really tricky. Eyes, and little things like that can be really, really hard. So three. I hear you. They had, yeah, so three pieces, two that come down and then one that goes across to the battery. And you're gonna tape this piece into the battery just for now. That's actually gonna be our switch, but we're gonna tape it in for now so that we are ready to rock and roll and check our LED. So I'm gonna take a piece of tape, I'm gonna tape it right here. Even though I don't want it always on right now, I'm just gonna tape it in so when I check my LED, we can know if it's working or not. And the way that I'm gonna check my LED is I'm gonna take my LED and I'm gonna make it sit down. So I'm gonna pull its legs up to the side like that so it's sitting down kind of. And then I'm going to make it do sort of a quarter split because mine is here on a sort of a quarter thing. And I can press these down. I'm noticing, ooh, nothing happens. Don't worry. I must have put my long leg on the wrong side. So what I'll do is I'll just flip my long leg over here. I'll have my long and my short leg like that and they work. Fantastic. And if you get it to work and light up like this, we have to tape in both of those legs. So it's really important to tape in both LED legs because that gives you a really good connection. So Georgia, we're gonna work on your LED legs in just a second. So I'm gonna tape, I'm gonna double check that it's working and I'm gonna put a piece of tape to tape in both of these legs, just like that. And now if I wanna turn it off, what I'll do is I'll come down here and I can just pop that off the switch because the electrons are going from the bottom of the battery into my LED, they're sliding down, woohoo, and they light up. And then they come back through here and they go into this little jumper and into the battery. And that is what makes them light up. But if I have it open, then they're just like, hanging out waiting to do something. They're all in line waiting, but they're not actually doing anything. All right, so we wanna tape those LED legs in. And first we wanna make our LED sit down and then we're gonna check if it works. And let's see, on Georgia's, let's see what we get. All right, so hers is not working, so let's flip it over and we'll check and we'll switch where the long legs and the short legs go I for hers. Mine. Oop, hers is not working, let's see. That's okay. We'll make it work. This actually happens a lot with paper circuits, doesn't it, Georgia? Sometimes they don't work right away. It always happens to me. Oh, it always happens to her. That's because Georgia's my kindergartner and she has little hands and these are skills that we have to learn over time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tape in Georgia's really good, make sure those legs are hitting really well. And I know that the long leg goes here and the short leg goes there. Oh, look, it's just our contact with the battery. It's just not making good contact. And we can fix that. And if I look at Georgia's battery, there's actually just a small amount of metal free. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually rip off a little bit of this tape right here. I'm gonna do it really carefully with a pair of scissors. And then I'm gonna see again. Ah, now hers is working beautifully. So we just need to get this piece down and it works for her. So this is Georgia's little guy really fast. No thanks, Georgia. All right, 
So now that we have a working little guy, we need to add our lighthouse piece. So I made mine around this so it should line up just beautifully. And then I can add in masking tape to tape it in. And if you want your lighthouse to be really bright, you can leave it like this. If you want it to have like a cool sort of diffuse look, you could actually add a masking tape all the way up to the top. Can you wait for a second, please, Georgia? All right. So now my lighthouse is ready for decorations. And you can do a lot to decorate. So you could add doors to it. You could go outside and hot glue rocks to it because usually lighthouses are on these sort of capes that have big rocks that the ships might run into or you could make it look very city and future-esque because a lot of lighthouses are also at ports of big cities so that the ships don't come in and accidentally run aground instead of being able to deliver their Mama, goods. Can I do like this with the copper tape because you want to, any tape you use right now after your circuit's working is going to be a masking or a scotch tape. Because the copper tape is like wires, and if we use copper tape, we might accidentally connect two wires, and then the electrons are super duper lazy. So if they have the choice to either just go through wire and do nothing back to the battery, or go through an LED and climb up the slide and go down it, even though they have fun going down the slide, they just are like, no way, not doing the extra work to climb up those steps, I'm just gonna go straight back home. So if you accidentally cross your wires, you would actually make it stop. And I could show you guys that right here. So if I accidentally take something and cross these two wires, I instantly turn my light off. And this is not a switch you would want to make because now my battery is running through those electrons. They're just running as fast as they can as they go through here. And your battery would get warm and it would run out really, really quickly. So you don't actually want to do that as a switch, which is why our switch is just cutting that wire essentially that was touching our battery by taking it on and off which is our fabulous switch and now we are ready to decorate our totally awesome lighthouse and isabella made a really little one. Oh my gosh it's so little oh it's so cute look how teeny it is that's not what i wanted to do oh well we can work on that honey don't worry are you trying to take this all together no, okay not. we can get that taped in here we'll go like this We'll go like that. Look how exactly same piece it looks of tape. Over here. You know, this could be like a really cool outcropping, though. I don't know. That could <gasps> be like a cool addition. And Georgia has a plan now because now you could add all sorts of things. We could add like stairs going up. We could add balconies. We could add secret treasure compartments for that treasure we found yesterday. I don't know. There's a lot that we could be doing with these awesome little lighthouses. And. If you make another foil ship, you could put it like on the edge of your bathtub so that your ship doesn't run aground. That would be pretty fun. I would kind of enjoy that. Where is my foil ship? I don't know. All right, so we are, if there's any questions, you can pop them in the comments box now. Otherwise, we're gonna head over into Zoom. And if you're having trouble making this work, you can just show me like really close in your Zoom and we'll look at where the LED is connected We'll look at the battery. We'll double check that your wires are all in one piece. Um, those are like the common things and we can decorate them together and we can hang out with Tiny Dancer and friends, which is gonna be amazing. I love hanging out with Tiny Dancer and friends. And we can make cool decorations. Like look, Georgia already has a balcony going, which is amazing. And these make great little like nightlight pieces and all sorts of things. It's like a fun little thing, decoration, especially on Bainbridge, you can go out and like, Take it on the beach and take pictures. And if you take it like in the right perspective, it'll make it look like you have this huge lighthouse. It'll be like a ferry going in the background. It'll be super awesome. I'm kind we, of excited. We tried that. We did try that. We it was too, hard. We were too slow. We the ferry did Yeah, the ferry came by when we were not ready, which is funny because it comes on a schedule. So, you know, all that good stuff. It looks like Isabella's gonna try to put some foil around it. And if you do use foil, make sure Foil is metallic, so if you put foil across these two wires, it will break your circuit. So that's make sure it's not on it. touching anything else that's inside of your circuit. Awesome! So I want to say thank you so much for joining us as we are making these awesome lighthouses as a little capstone project to our Pirates Week. We will see all of our friends over in Zoom where you can troubleshoot. 
And don't forget to spread the word. You guys can watch us on the days that work for you, you on the projects that work for you, you know? So we're gonna do all sorts of solar system stuff next week and you can say, hey, I've already done that project, but I'll come the next day. And that's totally and fine. I, we're not I taking attendance. We are happens. here to totally support you guys having fun between now and the end of school. So we will see you guys over there. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Give us a thumbs up. Share us on social media. The more, the merrier. All right, we will see you guys shortly with Tiny Dancer. Have a good one.